Hello, my name is Arlen Nipper and I'm the president and CTO of SiriusLink Solutions. I'm also the co-inventor of MQTT. Message Queuing Telemetry Transport, or MQTT, was originally developed for use in mission-critical SCADA pipeline systems. MQTT is basically a publish and subscribe messaging middleware transport protocol. Initially, when I helped co-invent MQTT, it was actually for real-time mission-critical SCADA systems. MQTT is very unique in that the payload is data agnostic. We did that on purpose so that over the years, MQTT could be used in applications that we didn't even know were going to exist uh, when we worked on it 17 years ago. So that means we can publish binary data from PLCs or publish JPEG images from cameras or PDF documents. MQTT is very bandwidth efficient. As compared to other transport protocols, it only has a two byte overhead and one of the big advantages is it's a very simple protocol to understand. There's only five verbs in using MQTT. It's basically a connect, a disconnect, a publish, subscribe, and ping. I think MQTT is starting to become very important from the standpoint that we as, a, as an ecosystem have done a very good job in promoting it through open source standards like the Eclipse Foundation. As I interview customers and find that there's a lot of expertise leaving the OT sector. We want graduates from computer technology and computer science departments to use that protocols like MQTT that they're already familiar with. We found that it's being used in a lot of other applications now that you might not have been aware of. Facebook in Facebook Messenger actually uses MQTT to publish messages from your mobile phone. Amazon has just launched their AWS IoT service which uses MQTT as one of its primary transport layers. And of course, IBM being one of the co-inventors of MQTT have it in all of their messaging middleware systems. This is actually quite an exciting time for me personally to see how MQTT has grown and adopted in the market. We really need to change the way that we look at SCADA and telemetry systems. And so I'm very excited to see MQTT being used in numerous cloud applications, in embedded devices, in medical applications, uh, smart city applications. There's a lot of applications using it. It's very easy to understand.